Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 14 of 2018 appointing the Labour Fund's chairman and members of its managing board of directors. The Royal Decree stipulated the appointment of the following Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa as the board chairman, Khalid Ali Rashid Al Amin, a member, Yara Rida Faraj, a member, Hassan Amin Girar, a member, Mohammed Adil Fakhru, a member. Rania Yusuf Ashirawi, a member. Dima Rasul Haddad, a member. Hamad Mohammed Al Sbai, a member. Salman Abdul Qadir Al Saad, a member. Their term of office will be until the 15th of January 2019. The Prime Minister and the Ministers are to implement the provisions of this degree, which come into effect from the date of its issuance and to be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call yesterday with His Royal Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Al Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The two leaders reviewed the strong bilateral ties and the historic relations between the two royal families, praying to the Almighty God the prevalence of peace and security for both countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the Chairman of Saudi Shura Council, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh, who is currently visiting Bahrain at the invitation of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, who conveyed to His Majesty greetings from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and wishes of continued progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Majesty welcomed the Chairman of the Saudi Shura Council and asked him to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and his wishes to the brotherly Saudi people for further progress and prosperity. He thanked the Saudi Shura Council chairman and members of the accompanying delegation for their visit to Bahrain, which comes within the framework of close and historic relations between the two brotherly countries. His Majesty the King underlined the deep-rooted fraternal historical relations between the two countries and the keen desire to enhance them in various domains. During the meeting, His Majesty the King commended the important role played by the Representatives Council and the Shura Council in Bahrain and the Shura Council in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and conveying the voice of both countries to the world and highlighting the progress and prosperity at all levels which affirms the unity of the common positions. His Majesty stressed the importance of exchanging such brotherly visits that contribute to exchanging experiences and opening new horizons for coordination in the legislative and parliamentary fields. For his part, the Chairman of the Shura Council in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia expressed his gratitude for the keenness of His Majesty the King to strengthen relations between the two brotherly countries. He also praised the close cooperation between Bahrain's parliament and the Saudi Shura Council and the joint coordination for the benefit of the two countries and their people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, and Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty the King the Chairman and members of the High Organizing Committee and the winners of the strongest Bahraini man competition that revenue was allocated to support cancer patients, according to the directives of His Highness Sheikh. Khalid. His Majesty the King congratulated His Highness Sheikh Khalid for ranking third in the lightweight classes, valuing His Highness's initiative to allocate the revenues of the competition to support cancer patients, which is considered another initiative of His Highness that supports the sport and humanitarian fields in the kingdom. He also noted His Highness's efforts to encourage Bahraini youth to participate in different sports to promote Bahrain in various international forms, lauding the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work in youth affairs chairman of the supreme council for youth and sports chairman of the bahrain olympic committee his highness sheikh nasser bin hamad al khalifa that contributed to the development of sports 
in the kingdom. His Majesty also congratulated East Rafah Chairman Captain Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa for ranking first in the middleweight class and participant Imad Hussein Al Ghaffas for ranking first in heavyweight class, wishing them further success. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts of the Chairman of the High Organizing Committee and its members in organizing the competition, expressing hope for the development of such competitions to reach high regional and international levels. His Majesty expressed appreciation to the Bahraini youth for their determination to achieve first ranks in youth and sports events, valuing their achievements in various competitions, wishing His Highness Sheikh Khalid and all Bahraini athletes further success. For His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continued support to sports, which resulted in many achievements for the Kingdom in various sports forms. He affirmed his keenness to implement the directives of His Majesty the King to develop the sports movement in the Kingdom, noting His Majesty's directives to employ sporting initiatives to serve humanitarian causes. His Highness Sheikh Khalid asserted the continuation of his efforts to activate the role of sports to achieve the goals of sustainable development. His Highness highlighted Bahrain's outstanding ability to organize various championships due to the Bahraini competencies and expertise in the field. His Highness also stated that the organization and success of the strongest Bahraini man competition reflects the efforts of the High Organizing Committee Chairman, Head of the Media Office of His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad, Omar Abdul Aziz Kamal, and all chairmen and members of committees, members of subcommittees, and the volunteer team. His Highness Sheikh Khaled added that the efforts are ongoing to launch more initiatives that affirm the King ability to create an adequate environment for Bahraini youth to part practice their hobbies. He also added that these initiatives will affirm Bahrain's ability to organize various activities, programs and sporting events. His Highness praised the level of participants in the championship which reflected the abilities of the Bahraini athletes to participate in various championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid presented His Majesty with a commemorative gift. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister reviewed the letter received by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, regarding the bilateral relations and joint cooperation between the two countries as well as the latest regional and international developments. The cabinet hailed these relations and their developments in various fields. The cabinet also stressed the importance of events that reinforce the sense of patriotism in citizens, commending the success of Bahrain First Festival, which was patronized and attended by His Majesty the King to highlight the pioneering role of Bahrain and its development in the era of His Majesty the King. The cabinet praised the successful uh, preemptive uh, security operations that resulted in throttling terrorist plots targeting the security of the kingdom commending the competence, the vigilance of the security agencies in preserving the peace and security of the kingdom. It stressed the government's commitment to combat terrorism and prosecute those behind it. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to establish a youth center in Al Naim and assigned the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, the Minister of Housing and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs to visit Al Naim area to review its citizens' needs, which reflects the government's keenness to provide all necessary services with the highest quality in all parts of Bahrain.
The Cabinet approved a draft law to adopt a national program to facilitate and simplify air transport procedures and form a relevant committee that includes the relevant bodies in response to international requirements to be implemented under the 1944 Chicago Convention, which required each contracting state to develop a national air transport facilitation program. The Cabinet approved a draft law that promotes breastfeeding and establishes controls on the use, marketing and promotion of breast milk substitutes. The Cabinet approved a draft law regulating the fees charged for uh, consular work as stipulated in the Diplomatic and Consular Corps Law. The Cabinet discussed a memorandum of understanding between the National Space Science Agency in Bahrain and the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center in the UAE. The Cabinet discussed the establishment of a headquarters in Bahrain for the Gulf Chemist Union and referred it to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet reviewed a number of proposals from the Council of Representatives regarding overfishing, auxiliary medical professions and kindergartens. The Cabinet also reviewed the report of the Minister of Foreign Affairs on the results of the 4th Bahraini-Moroccan High Joint Committee held recently in the Moroccan capital in which a number of agreements and MOUs were signed between Bahrain and Morocco. The Cabinet was also briefed on the report of the Minister of Labour and Social Development on the results of the 4th Conference of Ministers of Labour of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation held in Jeddah recently. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Ghlebiya Palace today a number of Kanu family members who expressed their sincere thanks and appreciation for the condolences of His Royal Highness on the demise of Mubarak bin Jassim Kanu, wishing His Royal Highness continued health. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the role played by the Kanu family and its history in supporting the trade and economic progress and supporting the government in this regard. His Royal Highness recalled the contributions of the late Mubarak Kano to the commercial development and humanitarian and charitable work in serving the community. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the keenness to strengthen the values of communication for its role in strengthening the social fabric, which is one of the pillars of the national unity. His Majesty the King's personal representative, President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that winning the membership of the Executive Board of the UN Environment Programme on Chemicals and Waste reflects the confidence of the United Nations in Bahrain's technical expertise in dealing with environmental issues, in particular the management of hazardous chemical wastes. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah said Bahrain's accession represents by the SCE to the Executive Board of the UN Environment Programme on Chemicals and Waste will pave the way for new participation in other UN councils and committees. It would also provide Bahrain with the opportunity to attract more projects that deal with the management of hazardous chemicals and waste. He noted that Bahrain has won the nomination for the small island countries for a two-year term. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the second meeting of the Olympic Committee Board of Directors in the presence of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, General Secretary Abdurrahman Askar and board members. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the efforts of the members to develop the work of the committee and its achievements. The meeting discussed the items on its agenda and ratified the minutes of the first board meeting meeting held on Thursday the 10th of August 2017. His Highness reviewed the reports of the General Secretary on participating in the 5th Asian Indoor and Martial Arts Games held in Turkmenistan on September 2017. In addition to reports on the initiatives of the committee such as the Olympic Park, the Children's Tournament and Bahrain's Indoor International Football Challenge. He also reviewed the recommendations of the African Asian Forum for the advancement of women's sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser reviewed the reports on Bahraini Sports Day, hailing the success of the event with the support of the wise leadership, the efforts of the Supreme Organizing Committee and the cooperation of all government and private bodies in addition to the participation of all citizens and residents. 
His Highness uh, was briefed on a report on the conditions for the licensing or for licensing the practicing of sport activities in private places, clubs and gymnasiums. The meeting also reviewed the program and activities of the committee for the year 2018 and uh, named uh, the chairman and member of the working committees, which are the Women's Sports Committee, Marketing Committee, Environment and Sports Committee and uh, the Technical Advisory Committee. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his wishes to continue working to prepare for upcoming events to enhance Bahrain's status and make more honorable achievements for the kingdom. Under the patronage of the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, a ceremony was held today to honor the Special Force Task Force 16 of the BDF, which participated in the process of restoring hope in Yemen. Under the leadership of Saudi Arabia in the presence of BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr al-Naimi, Defense Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Guard Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Then the commander of the Royal Guard Special Force delivered a speech in which he welcomed the commander-in-chief of the BDF and thanked him for his patronage of the ceremony. He underlined the advanced combat capabilities of the BDF affiliates, thanking or thanks to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, and the unlimited support and follow-up by the BDF commander-in-chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The commander of the Royal Guard Special Force expressed his thanks and appreciation to the members of the Bahrain Defense Force for their dedicated efforts in performing the national duty within the Arab coalition forces, supporting the legitimacy of Yemen, and praised their noble sacrifices based on courage in carrying out the national duty to uphold the right and the participation of their brothers to restore legitimacy to the sisterly republic of Yemen. Then the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force awarded medals to members of the Special Force Task Force 16 for their sincere national efforts and role during their mission. On the occasion, the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF expressed his pride in the officers, non-commissioned officers and members of the Special Force of the Bahrain Defense Force in their participation in the operations of the Arab Coalition within the Joint Defense Agreement with the GCC states and within the framework of the Joint Arab Defense Agreement. The BDF Commander-in-Chief wished them every success. The Commander-in-Chief of the BDF conveyed to them the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, De Deputy Supreme Commander, the First uh, Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
Interior Minister and General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa took part in the meeting of the Interior Ministers of the International Security Coalition in Abu Dhabi. The coalition consisting of Bahrain, the UAE, Morocco, Spain, France, Italy, Senegal and Singapore was announced in February 2017. Upon his arrival in Abu Dhabi, the Interior Minister was welcomed by UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan. On the occasion, the Interior Minister praised the strong and historical ties between the two brotherly countries. He also thanked and appreciated His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif for the excellent initiative focusing on a comprehensive vision to serve the international security efforts. The Interior Minister affirmed that the creation of an international security coalition to confront all forms of crimes was essential because of the rapid security cha changes. He also stressed the need to draft legislations to maintain international security and peace and emphasized an urgent need to reinforce international cooperation to fight crime, especially with the emerging of new forms of organized and cross-border crimes through innovative and high-tech methods. At the meeting, the participants were briefed on the outcomes of the 2017 meetings and plans and uh, the suggestions for 2018 related to the agenda of the coalition countries. The coalition website created by the Interior Ministry of Bahrain was also launched. Experiences and expertise were also exchanged on the occasion to come up with a unified international viewpoint and joint operations to exchange information about internet gangs, international piracy and websites carrying content of an extremist nature. The meeting also focused on determining the training requirements and functioning of those handling evidence of cyber crimes. The participants affirmed in their final statement that any content of a criminal or extremist nature on the internet represents a major international security threat and required a coordinated international response. They approved the recommendations of the technical teams to develop a comprehensive national response to fight such content including setting up a regional framework to define and classify the internet content, set the mechanisms for the social media to determine high-risk platforms for each member country and create a database of keywords, tags, and digital fingerprints to block such uh, contents on the Internet. On the sidelines of the meeting, uh, the Interior Minister also met with Singapore Home Affairs Mis Minister K. Shan Mugam. They reviewed security cooperation and coordination to tackle any security threats. The Executive Director of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed Barak bin Dayna, inaugurated an awareness workshop titled Maximizing the Positive and Minimizing the Negative Impacts of the Implementation of Response Measures. The workshop was held in cooperation with the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Exchange or Climate Changes Secretariat and in collaboration with the International Labour Federation. Thirty representatives from a number of countries will attend the event, which will continue for three days. The participants will develop an understanding of the common benefits of uh, mitigating adaption activities and economic diversification plans under the Paris Convention, as well as what needs uh, to be taken into account to ensure the safety of the environment by reducing the impact of climate change in the future. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the success of the Ministry of Interior in foiling several terrorist opera operations. In a statement today, he hailed the security agencies uh, which uh, busted terrorist cells and apprehended one. 116 terrorists who were recruited and supported by Iran to destabilize Bahrain. Dr. Al Sheikh commended the efforts of the security agencies led by the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, hailing the string of successes which bolstered Bahrain's stability. He hailed the competence and vigilance of uh, the security agencies which arrested the terrorists who were trained by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard to target the lives of innocent people in Bahrain and harm national gains. 
the Dean of uh, the Diplomatic Corps and Ambassador of Kuwait to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Sabah, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister, Ms. Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the successful uh, preemptive security operations that resulted in throttling a series of imminent terrorist attacks and arresting 100. 16 terrorists in addition to unraveling several locations used to manufacture weapons and bombs to target civilians. The ambassador praised the security men's alertness and speedy arresting of the terrorist cell which constitutes a strong deterrent to anyone who attempts to commit a similar crime. He stressed that the security of Bahrain is deemed an integral and inseparable part of Kuwait's security and that Kuwait supports all the measures Bahrain takes to maintain its security and safety, wishing Bahrain lasting security and stability.